pregnant cat gives birth to strange colored kittens, leaving her rescuers baffled. Attachment is a feeling that could either lead to vulnerability or result in a positive life-changing experience. A person doesn't need to get attached to a person only. There are many cases where we have seen humans getting attached to a particular material or other species. A perfect example to glorify other kinds of attachment is a pet-owner relationship. This attachment is beyond measures. Here's a similar story dignifying attachment with a series of amazing events. Some people tend to love animals more than they love humans. To them, animals are everything and to treat them properly is their only mission. Many people show that they are animal lovers and share many photographs of their pets to get a good amount of likes and comments on social media. A true lover does not believe in the pretenses. No matter how occupying the person is, he or she would make time for the people or the things they like. In that case, animal lovers like Jacqueline D'Amour are the perfect specimen to showcase how animal lovers should be. Jacqueline D'Amour is the co-founder of the Friends for Life Rescue Network. She's extremely attached to animals and wants each animal to be loved by someone or the other. With this thought alone, she headed on to build up a company which is more of a dream job for her. The Friends for Life Rescue Network is a team of animal lovers operating from Los Angeles, California. The main motive of this association is to make sure that strays and unwanted pets are kept safe, loved, and taken care of. The dedication of the members of Friends for Life Rescue Network made hundreds of animals in finding their new homes. They ensure that each animal is being taken care of and loved. They find abandoned or homeless animals and sustain them until they're fit and ready to be adopted by families across the city. When somebody talks about pets, cats and dogs are the first options that somebody would readily put forth. Handling animals is similar to that of handling a human kid. One equally has to devote his or her time while parenting a pet. The time invested while parenting strengthens the bond between animal and human. Animals don't know how to unlove people whom they once used to love. It's really sad to know that humans are so vicious that they'd even abandon pets when they find it strenuous to look after the pet. This is the reason why most of the animals are homeless in the first place. When people abandon pet animals, then the rescue team comes into action. Some owners choose to leave their pets on the streets, some reach out to Jacqueline's team when they're unable to take care of their pets anymore. The team, without asking further questions, readily accepts the pets and takes care of them wholeheartedly. One morning, while sipping a cup of coffee, Jacqueline heard her phone ringing from the other room. She thought it would be a case of emergency, so she quickly headed to her office. Little did she know that the help was needed, but for the long term. The call she attended to was of a cat owner who was seeking advice. She told Jacqueline that her cat was pregnant and she had no knowledge as to how she should be taking care of the pregnant cat and kittens that would soon come into the world. Jacqueline agreed to help the owner as she felt that in her clinic, the cat would be taken care of and it would be like many other deliveries that she'd administer. Jacqueline could never say no to the people who love animals and she agreed on helping her with the cat's pregnancy. Before Jacqueline indulged in the case, the cat owner wanted to reveal the cat's history. She wanted to disclose everything the cat went through. In order to keep everything transparent, the owner took a chance and made Jacqueline aware of the phase the cat was in. The owner informed Jacqueline that at one point in time, the cat had disappeared and didn't come back home for a very long time. The owner was disappointed and thought the cat had gone forever, and the owner would never be able to see her again, but to her surprise, the cat returned after a few weeks. After her return, the owner would notice little changes. Initially, she thought that the cat must be traumatized and needed care. As the owner started spending more time with the cat, she discovered her cat was pregnant. The news was exciting for the owner, but soon worry took over the excitement when she realized that she neither had space for the kittens nor any idea about how to take care of a pregnant cat or her kittens. The cat owner kept aside all her worries and focused on her cat's well-being. She trusted Jacqueline's team for her cat and asked for their advice. She was all aware of the treatment that they would be providing to her cat, so she blindly gave the responsibility in the hands of the rescue network. Jacqueline was impressed by the lady. The way she introduced her cat and other problems to Jacqueline made her realize that there are many people with big hearts still out there. She couldn't wait to see the cat and the lady, so she directed them to her office, which was basically a clinic. Jacqueline was quite excited about having a new member added to their already big family. She asked for her members to set up a comfortable living space for the 2B mommy cat 
All the members prepare themselves to accept a new animal in their clinic and the family as well. As soon as the owner informed Jacqueline that she would bring the cat in the afternoon, the team that managed their schedules accordingly so they could free themselves before time and warmly welcome the new one. They wanted to make the owner understand that the cat would be in the right hands under the supervision of veterinary surgeons. The rescue network welcomed the cat and made it comfortable. She meowed in a happy way and that made the owner sigh. It seemed as if the owner was too possessive for her pet. The owner tried her level best to act normal but couldn't hide her worries in front of Jacqueline. In return, Jacqueline assured the owner that she and her team would take good care of her pet. Jacqueline then sent the cat to the in-house vet to get her medically tested. She thought that while the cat was away, it could have contracted a lot of diseases. If the diseases were not looked into, that could cause serious complications in the delivery, leading to fatality. After having checked out, the doctors confirmed that the cat was healthy and then transferred it to a cozy place to rest. When the mother cat first arrived, it appeared as if very soon she would give birth to her kittens, but the team had to wait for a while before the cat went into labor. The specialists tried hard to figure it out, but there were no signs of labor in the first week of her arrival. It was one week later when doctors got signs that the cat was ready to become a mother of beautiful newborns. The cat was handled delicately and the care had been doubled. The other family members were eagerly waiting for the kittens to arrive. Nearly after a week, the cat started showing signs by acting differently. The vets noticed that the cat purred and meowed more than what it used to usually. Every day, signs only grew more and more, indicating that little new guests could come in any time now. The day arrived when she was brought into labor. Jacqueline was present there to aid the delivery in every way possible she could. Some other volunteers and veterinarians accompanied her for this delivery. The process started, which made the cat a bit restless. They tried to make her comfortable so that she could have a normal delivery. It wasn't that easy to bring the cat into labor. They had to wait for another hour for the little kittens to enter the world. The task that the team focused upon was to make the cat comfortable and keep it hydrated throughout the process. It was a time-taking delivery as compared to other deliveries they attended to so far. The cat's actions were being monitored. Even the slightest change in the cat's behavior was being noticed and immediate actions taken to resolve the discomfort that was being faced. The levels of making the cat comfortable were increased. The wait was still longer than what the doctors predicted, though. Hours after the struggles, the cat was successful in giving birth to its first kitten. The newborn kitten with a shrill voice meowed loudly. Its eyes were closed and the body was all covered with blood. Kittens meowed and meowed, listening to its mother's screams. The doctors took that kitten for a health checkup that confirmed it being healthy. The complete team was actively present there until all the kittens were born healthy. The mother cat gave birth to seven healthy and beautiful kittens, and the mother was healthy too. The room was filled with a new seven meows, and the members put all their hearts and souls to ensure that everything went smoothly, with zero fear of any life loss. After giving birth to seven kittens, the cat was all exhausted and went to sleep. Meanwhile, the team too decided to take a little break after which the cleaning of the kittens would be done. After the break, one of the volunteers went to the monitoring room to check the status of the kittens and to clean them up. While other members were relaxing and appreciating each other for the patience they showed, they got distracted by a strange scream coming from the monitoring room. Without thinking, they rushed inside the room to see if everything was fine or not. Alongside the other members, Jacqueline too rushed inside the room and asked what went wrong. On being asked this, the volunteer pointed to the kittens and asked Jacqueline to look closely at their fur. On having a closer look, she discovered that these kittens had different fur from regular ones. All seven newborn kittens carried a strange silver coat of fur on them, which was very unusual. The kittens looked very aged because of the color of the fur. The kittens had to undergo another round of detailed checkup, convinced that kittens were healthy and out of any danger. The doctors presented a detailed outline as to why the kittens carried that pigmentation. They explained by stating that, while they were still in their mother's womb, a coat of silver hair covered them for whatever reason it may, and while they grew inside, they failed to disperse off the silver fur from their body. This convinced Jacqueline and she thought of naming the kittens. Since the kittens went through quite a bit of adversities, the team decided to name them after comic book villains. It was interesting to name such cute and adorable kittens with inadequate guy titles. Lastly, the names were decided on and they went Bane, Joker, Magneto, Penguin, Venom, Lex Luthor, and the Riddler. The Joker was the smallest in the lot and was quite weaker than his siblings, so he underwent many checkups. 
Joker was the only kitten suffering from feline infectious peritonitis or FIP, which is often a fatal disease among cats and the lifespan is shortened. Joker had fluid accumulated in his chest that would sooner or later prove to be fatal. The whole clinic was disheartened after hearing the fact that all they did was feel sorry for him. Jacqueline was the first one to do something other than feeling sorry. She decided to adopt Joker so that he could live his short, last days peacefully and happily. She wanted him to get pampered every now and again. From the day Jacqueline adopted Joker, her house was no more a house but a home. She used to treat Joker as her own kid and never missed an opportunity to pamper him. As the time was passing by, Jacqueline got more attached to the little one. With that, a pang of separation was killing her from the inside. No matter how hard she tried to help Joker, he wasn't getting any better. His condition was serious and lastly what happened made Jacqueline dispirited. Joker ended up losing his breath to the disease. This was quite heartbreaking for everyone who witnessed his birth. The death of Joker surely left an impact on Jacqueline. She was disheartened initially but as time passed by, she accumulated it into courage and strength and got back to work. She admired her duty and wanted to save more lives so that she could compensate for the loss of Joker. The bond she shared with Joker didn't destroy her, instead it encouraged her to do as much as she could for other animals.